probably the front ones would be worse because it's more visible. But still, I think there's a lot of good solutions nowadays. Fact number three. People are more creative in the shower. <laughs> when we take a warm shower, we experience an increased dopamine flow that makes us more creative. I feel like I should take a shower right before filming. If I didn't have to get ready, I definitely would like shower right before filming, you know? It takes me about an hour to get ready for filming, um, so it wouldn't be very productive. Sometimes I do shower before getting ready, but I usually shower either in the morning or night. So, <laughs> and now that I think about it, I usually prefer to take a shower at night, and I do get really creative, and I have all of my ideas around that time, so... That's very interesting. <laughs> so our next random fact is uh, the moon has moonquakes. <laughs> they happen due to tidal stresses connected to the distance between the moon and the earth. I actually did not know anything about this. I don't think I've ever heard about it, but it is pretty interesting to know that there's like moonquakes. Also, I thought the name was really cute. It reminds me of like mooncakes, which sounds yummy. So, yeah. <laughs> Our random fact number five is humans are the only animals that blush. Apparently, we're also the only animals that experience embarrassment. This is because it's a complex emotion that involves understanding other people's opinions. Now, on this one, I do have to say that I don't fully agree with this. Also, I didn't do this disclaimer at first, but all of these random facts are from random websites. So, I'm not sure if they're all accurate. <laughs> Um, in this case, I feel like this is not true, like the second one, like the experience embarrassment part. And that's because I feel like dogs can also experiment this, like they feel guilt and embarrassment. You know, there's all those videos that they know they did something bad, and I feel like that's embarrassment, because they're usually very embarrassed about what they did, even though I did see on a documentary that they're not really feeling um, embarrassment or guilt, they just don't like the way you're talking to them, and they know that the tone is not a good thing, but they don't really associate it with what they've done. I don't know, I kind of feel like they do. I feel like they do understand, and sometimes you talk to them and they know they did it like they did something wrong and they just like do it again <laughs> you know it's, it's dogs so we go for fact number six kim kardashian has a glam clause in her will it states that if she's ever in a position where she can't get ready herself, can't communicate, or she's unconscious, someone has to make sure her hair, nails, and makeup are all perfect. Now, this was in a like interview. I think it was on Cosmopolitan or something. Um, I guess it kind of makes sense. Like... Considering that it, we're talking about Kim, and, um, I don't know, if that's something that she worries about, like, oh, I'm unconscious, can you please just make sure my nails here and everything looks perfect? Yeah, yeah, I'm also, like, about to, <laughs> but just make sure I look perfect, okay? <laughs> Random fact number seven, 
The shortest commercial flight in the world is in Scotland. Regional airline Loganair flies between the islands Westray and Papa Westray. The journey is just 1.7 miles and takes 90 seconds. <laughs> Can you imagine just like you take off? You land. <laughs> it's literally like just a minute and a half. It just... I don't know. It makes sense because it's an island and it is like really, really close, like a transfer flight, but it still counts because you're still flying. It's a very short flight. It kind of reminds me of my... I think the shortest flight that I've ever taken was from the UK um, to Amsterdam. I don't recall how long the flight is. I think it's around 40 minutes. Um, but I remember that we took off. You know, we had to wait for the seatbelt sign to turn off. And then they started serving beverages and, and food really, really fast. And then suddenly they're like, oh, cabin crew, prepare, prepare the cabin for landing. It was like 15 minutes that we had like up, up there. And we never, I think we were always in the clouds. We never went like above, like we usually do on other flights. But yeah, 90 seconds. So fact number eight. Supermarket apples can be a year old. Are those apples you just bought actually a year old? Maybe. Farmers often pick apples in the fall, cover them in wax, hot air dry them, and then put them in cold storage. This keeps them edible and ready to sell for 6 to 12 months. Now this makes a lot of sense. Like, I didn't know it was exactly like this, but when you go to the supermarket, sometimes there's fruit that has like a little coat of some sort of wax, and apparently it is to preserve it for longer. Um, I feel like in Portugal, we end up having access to really fresh fruit because we're surrounded, at least on the area that I live in, we are surrounded by fruit trees and you have local farmers markets where you can just go and buy local and usually it's like people are selling whatever it's in season so if you don't find that fruit at this time of the year they probably won't sell it um, and they don't have these um, big freezers or anything they're like small businesses of course, you can find a bit of everything, but yeah, I, th I guess that's a little bit better than eating an year-old apple that, that's been like frozen or something, not frozen, but like conserved in wax. Fact number nine, cat urine glows under a black light. Black lights can be used to detect any body fluids but cat urine glows particularly bright under ultraviolet light, primarily because it contains the element phosphorus. I kind of knew this one already, but I didn't know that it had like a an it factor. <laughs> I didn't know it would shine even brighter than human fluids. It's still kind of disgusting when people like go check if there's anything there. Fact number 10. There's a fruit that tastes like chocolate pudding. Uh, apparently it's a native fruit from Central and South America. The fruit is called Black Sabot. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. And it tastes like a combination of sweet custard and chocolate. I'm not a huge fan of custard, but I'm curious about this fruit. Fact number 11. The largest pair of eyes in the world belongs to the giant squid. Its eyes are the
the size of soccer balls and are at least 25 centimeters across. The largest fish eye is only around 9 centimeters wide, which belongs to the swordfish. Now this one, can you imagine like a soccer ball and that's like an eye? Can you just like imagine the size of the animal? <laughs> the size. And it's, it's a squid. That's so scary. I feel like I would definitely freak out. Yeah. <laughs> um, fact number 12. Japan has 23 vending machines per person. This ratio is the same per capita. Japan has the highest amount of vending machines in the world. 23 per person. Like, where do they fit all of the vending machines? Fact number 13. Mary and James are the most popular names around the world. Between the years of 1917 to 2016, over 5 million baby boys were named James. On the other hand, over 3.5 million baby girls were named Mary. Now, my mom's name, like the first name, is Mary, but in Portuguese. I'm not sure if they're counting those or if it's just the name Mary, like in English. But, um, definitely not using those names. <laughs> I've never actually liked those names in terms of popularity. Um, in Portugal, a lot of people have Maria as their f first name. Um, it's a very common name for girls, but it's usually followed by a second name, and then usually people go by that second by that second name. Um, so, like my mom is Maria de Fatima, so her name is Fatima. We just don't use Maria at all. And, um, I feel like these very common names, they're, they're both really pretty. I do like the names, but I feel like they're too used. So, I think that, in my personal opinion, I would rather go for something a bit more unique. Um, but not super unique. I don't know. Um... Fact 14th, children are born less frequently on Saturdays. Among all the days in the week, most children in the world are born on a Thursday. Babies born on weekends in December is also the least common. Well, I am from December, but I was born on a Monday. <laughs> I was just like... Hello there, let's start the week. I do like Mondays in general. They're okay. I like a fresh start. So, I don't know if that has anything to do with me deciding to come out on a Monday. Also, it's very near Christmas. I don't know what I was thinking, but I did not let my mom have, like, the best time around Christmas that year. I guess it was, it was so joyful, you know, we all forget about the pain, am I right? At least she says it was a good time. Um, so the next fact is, a snail has 2,500 teeth. These teeth can be found on their tongue that's covered in ridges. Snails eat by rubbing their tongue on its food, while the ridges cut it into tiny pieces. Disturbing. Next fact. Pigeons cannot fart. <laughs> um, apparently, 
farts are caused by a noticeable number of eruptions from intestinal gas. There's a sentence I never thought I would say on my channel. However, for a bird, their intestine is short, which causes them to get rid of waste more frequently. So basically, they, they just poop a lot. So they don't fart. Next fact. New Zealand was once auctioned on eBay. In 2006, an Australian man auctioned the country on the platform with a starting bid of a one cent. The bidding prices were raised to $3,000 before officials of the website shut it down. Can you imagine people bidding on a, like, they're, <laughs> they're actually going on eBay and they're like, oh, New Zealand is for sale. I'ma buy it. A hundred dollars. Like, do you think some people thought it was actually true? Because I feel like there's people who would probably think it was. Um, anyways, I don't know where he was going with that, but it did not work. <laughs> Uh, next fact is bottled water has an expiration date. I kind of knew this one already, uh, but the interesting part is what I'm going to tell you next. So to be more precise, the expiration date is for the bottle itself and not the water. This is because over time the plastic will start leaking into the water. Like, I didn't know that the expiration was for the bottle. I guess that really makes sense. But I just thought, like, oh, the water also goes bad, you know? If you just open the bottle and then you leave the water there, it kind of goes, like, yucky. So, yeah, that's interesting. Our next fact is a single dollar bill costs five cents to make. No explanation on this one. Just thought it was interesting. Uh, like how much it costs to actually make money. Isn't that weird? Like you're creating more money, but you have to pay to create more money because you're using materials and they cost money. That's kind of like that thing of who okay, came first. <laughs> the chicken or the egg. Obviously, in this case, it's just money. Money in first. Rocks or something. Um, next fact. May 29th is put a pillow on your fridge day. This odd holiday dates back to the early 90s where families would place a piece of cloth on top of their larders. This is regularly celebrated in Europe and the US to bring luck and wealth. I've never heard of it. <laughs> Next, the average adult spends more time on the toilet than exercising. On average, an adult will spend over three hours on the toilet per week, but only one and a half hours exercising. So maybe it's time we start working out in the bathroom. Now this one, I guess it's like an average thing, but um, it isn't true for me because I do go to the gym three times per week and I spend around one and a half to two hours in there. So, you know, uh, the next random fact is Pinocchio cannot say my nose will grow now. If he was to speak this sentence, it would create a paradox. For his nose to grow, he would have to lie. However, it cannot grow, otherwise the, sa the statement would be true. Now, I mean, he can say it, but what would happen? <laughs> um, I guess I thought this one 
was kind of funny or just silly, interesting. Um, because it does make a lot of sense. Like if he lies about it, the nose will grow. But if he's not lying, the nose won't grow. So it will be true and then it will be a lie and then... <sighs> Fact number 23. One, two, three, four, five, six is the most common password. Following this are several variations of this sequence, such as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or zero, one, two, three, four, five. Other passwords include I love you, sunshine, and password. <laughs> so if you have any of these passwords, just know that um, you should change them. Just saying. Number 24. The average male will become bored after 26 minutes of shopping. However, a study found that most women will not get bored until two hours later. Maybe next time you should just leave your boyfriend or husband at home. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can see this one being real. I personally think I can do a lot more than two hours. But in my defense, I'm not actively shopping. What I like to do is like browsing the shops. I just go to the stores and I like to look at things for hours. And I might not even buy anything or just like buy one or two things. But I will exhaustively look at every single item they sell, even if I don't need it. I'm just like, I have to see it. I don't know. I like it. I find it relaxing. Oh, by the way, we need to have a secret code for today. And I just went on my phone and checked all the emojis. And I decided that today's emoji is going to be a flamingo. I'm not really sure which emojis exist on each system. But let's do a flamingo. I feel like everyone has a flamingo. If not, just put a random animal. <laughs> I would like it as well. Okay, so we have actually our last random fact. And this one. So a Norwegian island made dying illegal. Yeah. So it is illegal to die on this island. But there is a very valid explanation. So... It is illegal to die on Svalbard because they are unable to safely bury the deceased due to the permafrost ground. When people on this island are about to die, they are brought to mainland Norway to pass away there. I, I thought this was so fascinating and also because I follow this lady named Cecilia and she's from Svalbard. She's very popular on TikTok. The island is so cute, so small. And she lives in a cabin and um, it is really cute. But I did not know about this rule. And there's also a second one, which is the land is off limits, not just to death, but birth too. Uh, pregnant women are not allowed to give birth in the town as there are no proper, me proper medical facilities for child. For these two, pregnant women are encouraged to leave the town and move to the mainland a month before the due date. I thought that was, it was very interesting to learn this. Um, I've watched so many videos of Cecilia, like talking about all the rules in Svalbard and how they actually do things, how to travel from there how to, I don't know, how they get the wood for the fireplace, how they get the groceries, and how they have this one building that basically is every facility in town. <laughs> it's like the hospital, the grocery store, and the nail place, and everything in one building. But yeah, I didn't know about this rule. Um, it does make a lot of sense. I think it's just a little bit sad to think about, like, you know, if someone is from there and they've lived there the, their whole lives and then they're about to die and they kind of 
just have to move out. You can't stay in your own home and like, you know, spend the rest of the time there, but I guess it makes sense. And um, if they didn't make that a thing, it could cause major problems for the island, so I guess it's better that way. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video with lots of random facts. Did you know any of them, or was it everything new for you as well? I, I don't know, I really like these videos. It allows me to do a little bit of research, and I feel like it is a very cool content to work on. Like, I love the part of searching for new uh, random facts, like taking all my notes and, and then creating the video. But yeah, I hope you like it as well. If you do, let me know so that I can bring you more.